If you're buying a car, you can go to Kelly Blue Book to consult pricing. If you're buying a house, you could go to Zillow to look up home values. Where can you go if you're assessing a one-of-a-kind behemoth? It is an icon that has withstood the test of time for almost a century. It is an engineering muse that represents the new American West. Let's see what the Golden Gate Bridge is worth. Hi, I'm Bharat Kanodia. I tell founders and investors what their companies are worth. I have valued the most unique and iconic assets, including the Brooklyn Bridge, the Atlanta Airport, and the state of Hawaii. I have valued the Golden Gate Bridge in a former life. Today I will share with you my process of how I go about valuing iconic monuments. Let's get the basics down first. The total length of the bridge is 9,000 feet or 1.7 miles. The span is about 4,200 feet and the deck is 90 foot wide. It is 220 feet above sea level and serves over 100,000 commuters between San Francisco and North Bay counties daily. It was part of President Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal promise for a better America during the Great Depression. Construction of the bridge took five years and was completed in 1937 for then staggering cost of $35 million. If we take that number and inflation adjust that to today, using the consumer price index, we get $670 million. The Golden Gate Bridge attracts more than 10 million visitors annually. Visitors translate into revenue and revenue translates to value. Its annual revenue is $145 million. The Golden Gate Bridge District spends $85 million in annual maintenance, turning a healthy profit of $60 million. Where else can you make a profit of $60 million a year? To make $60 million in dividends, we will have to buy almost $800 million worth of AT&T stock or a commercial building like the Salesforce Tower worth $1.2 billion. Or you could buy $1.5 billion worth of 30-year government bonds. If you had that kind of money, what would you buy? AT&T, an office tower, government bonds, or the Golden Gate Bridge? As a business, the bridge is worth about a billion to billion and a half dollars. Another way to consider bridges value is to compare it to other bridges around the world. The problem is, costs of massive construction projects are dependent on local topography, geopolitics, and macroeconomics. The most relevant comparable to the Golden Gate Bridge would be the east span of the Bay Bridge, which is about four miles away. It cost $6.4 billion to replace 2.2 miles of it in 2013. In today's dollars, that's about eight to nine billion. I conclude it will take $10 billion to rebuild the Golden Gate Bridge. The breakdown is design, planning, and permits, $200 million. Site work and foundation, $2 billion. Materials, $2 billion. Labor, $3 billion. Equipment and transport, $1.5 billion. Insurance and administration, $1 billion. Miscellaneous and incidentals, $300 million. The people who would rebuild the Golden Gate Bridge are no less than frontline soldiers. They would be working in icy and corrosive salt water of the Pacific with death-defying currents below, under hurricane force winds and dense fog. And given today's political, social, and environmental climate, we would attempt to replicate the essence of the original Golden Gate Bridge while using latest designs and materials. All factors adding to its mystique and unforgiving conditions. Great monuments like the Empire State Building, the Great Wall of China, and St. Peter's Basilica are both functional and symbolic. The Golden Gate Bridge is the artery of America's West Coast and a symbol of the beginning and end of a journey. Thanks for watching.